I've experienced several awakenings of all four kinds. You can too. Hi there, I'm Annika Tronanas and I am occasionally awake. I'm here to help you inspire your awakenings, heal yourself and reawaken your life. Welcome to my channel. Did you know that there are four different types of awakenings for you to experience? Awakening type number one. Awakenings can be epiphanies and aha moments that shed light on our own life story. Aspects of our personality, including our fears, our values, our preferences, our dreams, our wishes, they are no coincidence. They are the result and the effect of the life that we have lived, of the life experiences we've made. They are effects of the reality that we learned, that we grew up in, and then create and recreate for ourselves as we grow up. Your fears, your preferences, your values, they all make sense. You make sense. And if you think you don't, then you possibly don't know the whole story yet. Awakening type number two is awakening to the matrix and realizing that all of us individuals participating in society, participating in groups and larger contexts of discourse and meaning are partaking in structures and norms. And we may come to the point where we realize that not all of the structures and norms which usually give the idea of being inevitable, of being logical and self-evident, and there is no alternative to them. Once we wake up to the matrix, we realize that the matrix is not a depiction of inevitable, of logical reality, but that certain parts of it might actually go against the logic. Waking up to the matrix also means understanding in which aspects we as an individual cannot or do no longer want to participate. We might realize that in certain aspects, in certain group contexts and related to certain values of ours, we need to diverge from the matrix, diverge from the norm in order to be true to ourselves, to our own preferences, our own needs and dreams, our own heart and soul. Awakening type number three. Awakenings can reveal the conscious self, the higher self within. The conscious self, other people use different terms such as higher self, true self, authentic self. This self is the part of us that is connected to oneness, that connects us to oneness. It's the thread between me, I, ego, identity, preference, and the universe, oneness, non-duality, connectedness, connection, peace, unity. Our conscious self is connected to our heart, our inner voice, our intuition, our creative impulses. It's the part of us that is connected to oneness, to non-duality, to unity, to perfect inner peace. As we become more and more aware of our own body-mind-spirit connection, of the presence and reality of our conscious self within, we also awaken to the power and ability that we ourselves have to heal and help ourselves and our lives. Awakening type number four is also called enlightenment. This fourth and last type of awakening refers to a higher state of being, a higher state of awareness that is free of thought, of ego identity, of judgment, of preference and reference. It is a state of perfect inner peace, balance and connectedness to our core, to the unity of the universe. In this state, we are connected to oneness. As the eye dissolves around us, we come to realize and be present in a whole other reality, the ultimate reality of truth. For years I thought that the state of perfect peace was unattainable for a normal person. I thought that this 
specific higher or highest state of being was only available for gurus and monks and people that literally dedicated their entire lives to reaching that state of enlightenment. But then I woke up, not forever, not that type of enlightenment where people dissolve their identity forever, which is the type of enlightenment that we like to think of and it's idealized as perfect, as unattainable, as forever peace. Although we learn from many of the people that are enlightened that that is not actually a constant state for them and there are varying degrees. But it's still an idea that many people have. You wake up once and then that feeling stays forever. This was different for me. I woke up for a few minutes. I woke up to the present moment in exactly the state I described. And it just didn't last forever. I had several of these experiences for a few minutes of waking up. These experiences were very different. I can partly see what caused or rather inspired these awakenings to occur. I understood that even the ultimate enlightenment spiritual awakening doesn't have to last forever to be precious. These experiences are among the most beautiful experiences of my entire life. And they were so short in time but so full of meaning and connection and love. And even though the awakening was over after a few minutes, as my mind and my ego settled back in and my judgment and my preference and my humanly perception of the world around me settled back in. But what I took away from this was the experience itself and the experience of truth and ultimate reality in that moment, of perfect peace. So here are the five key things that I would like you to take away from this. Number one, there are different kinds of awakenings. Number two, awakenings are catalysts for growth and transformation. Number three, awakenings are milestones on our self-help and healing journey. Number four, I've experienced several awakenings of all four kinds. Number five, you can too. Let me show you how.